I was all over the newspapers, national newspapers, all over national TV, all over national radio, day after day after day after day. And not once in that period did they come on to me, the media in the Netherlands, and say, what's your take on this? Uh, can you give your response? Not, none. Because they want to demonize you, but they don't want to give you a platform so that people can see, actually, you're not who they say you are. Isn't it ironic or, you know, is it a, <laughs> you know, maybe a twist of fate that actually this is turning upside down and it has just opened your work to a whole new group of people that are saying, listen, if he's being fought as a non-convicted, charged with nothing uh, guy, then there must be something to what he's saying. Well, exactly that's happened in the Netherlands. People look further now instead of buying into it like they did at the onset. When I came screaming out of that Washington, D.C. swamp, that hell of human trafficking and MK Ultra mind control. Nobody even knew that that hell existed and they didn't want to really hear about it. And yet I had my love for humanity compelling me to bring the truth to light because we had to stop the trafficking of children. Looking at an entire dismantling of almost if not everything we've ever been told about reality and the world we live in and the forces that are driving it. We need to look beyond that and expand beyond it because it is an illusion and it's one that we're going to have to realize is just that and stop the indoctrination of our children. We've got to protect the children for future generations. Our children are the ones who are targeted, they're so innocent, they're so pure, they're still connected into the amazing intuitions and, and possibilities, they're so free.